Marvel, I just want y'all to know, I ain't bad with y'all. I've been there with y'all ever since the first Spider-Man movie came out. I've been there with y'all ever since the Hulk movie came out in 2003. I've been there for y'all when y'all started the whole MCU, and I've been there for you since Avengers Endgame. I've been there for you for that shit. But what in God's green earth is this? I don't even know what to say. What? How? You? I, <laughs> what? All right, let's. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I just go oh God Almighty. It's a trap. So what's going on guys, this is Crazy King Gamer, and before we get into this video, let me go ahead and ask you guys this question. How did you guys get into Marvel Comics? Because when I got into Marvel Comics, I pretty much didn't even know anything about Marvel Comics. The only character I pretty much knew that pretty much introduced me to Marvel Comics was Spider-Man. And with Spider-Man, there came Stan Lee. And with Stan Lee, there came Marvel. And with Marvel, there was the Avengers, there was Iron Man, there was Captain America, there was the Hulk. It was basically all of that. So basically, if it wasn't for Spider-Man, I wouldn't have gotten into Marvel like I did and ever since then like I pretty much know that there was a lot of superheroes that got a lot of people into Marvel at uh, it's the same thing as DC I wouldn't have gotten into DC comics if it wasn't for Superman and Batman the two main players and so you always have to have that one superhero that pretty much got you into Marvel right so why on God's green earth is Marvel pretty much thinking that this is the way to get younger audiences to read their stinking comics what the hell is for those of you that are probably trying to figure out what in God's green earth you're looking at, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the New Warriors. Or they're pretty much the protégés of the New Warriors, so we're going to call them the New New Warriors. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I read comic books, but I, don't, I have never read the New Warriors. I don't even know what the hell that is. If I read Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers, I've never read this crap. The only thing I know is that Firestar is pretty much in the group, and I already know who Firestar is because I watched Spider-Man and his amazing friends, and she's pretty much my waifu. So apparently, from what I can understand, is that Marvel decided to go ahead and pretty much make a new comic book series where it's going to be a group of superpower teenagers that are going to be, like, taught underneath the, the, the new warriors. But my thing is that these heroes are just laughable. These are the type of heroes that you would probably see off of DeviantArt, not actual characters that were pretty much written and made by actual people that work in a comic book studio that were paid actual money for this. I mean, you see the images, you see this. Somebody got paid for this. Somebody got paid for this. Now, this wouldn't have pissed me off as much as it was, but my thing is, is like, I have to ask the question, Marvel, do you guys not give a shit anymore? Do you not give a shit anymore? Because what the hell am I looking at right now? Like, oh, what? I just, my brain is just trying to rack this up. So, let's go ahead and introduce you to the characters. All right, the first character, the first superhero we got is Screen Time. I shit you not, that's his name, Screen Time. And from, from the look of him, he kind of looks like if... Brainiac had like a preview S and Sun or as one other youtuber has already pointed out He looks like a, a bootleg Ben 10 like he looks like a bootleg Ben Tennyson But um his description pretty much reads a meme obsessed super teen whose brain became connected to the internet after being exposed to And I'm not making this shit up to his grandfather's experimental internet gas Excuse me, um, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> what the hell is internet gas? What, what, what is that? Are you trying to say that his computer just made a big ass fart and then next thing you know he just took that shit in and took a whiff it in and all of a sudden he just, he just got superpowers and whatnot? What is an internet gas? What is that? I, I thought the internet was just a place full of codes and pretty much numbers and internet and stuff like data and information and porn but internet gas what the hell is that i've heard of bullshit before i've heard of a teenager getting bit by a radioactive spider i heard of a super soldier serum that gives you steroids to where you can run around in a flag 
I I've heard so much crazy crap, and this is me reading comic books for years, but I will never get over this. Internet gas? What the hell is that? Now he can augment his reality and real-time maps and can instantly Google any fact. Does this make him effectively a genius? He sure acts like it does. So you're telling me this kid is... So well, let me get this straight. <laughs> this kid took a whiff of the internet's farts and now he's just basically the human representation of Google. He is basically the Google Maps or the Google search. That's it. You might as well just go ahead and call him Google Kid or something. At least that would make more sense. But screen time? Are you kidding me? Internet farts? Are you guys even trying anymore? What the hell? I Moving on. So we got um, twins in this lineup too. And they're called Snowflake and Safe Space. I swear to God, this looks like somebody ripped this shit off of DeviantArt. Like, first you got the, the sister who's pretty much all blue and she's pretty much I guess she's got ice powers that's my guess and then you got safe space and he pretty much is a dude he's a boy and I guess he's pretty much he uses time and space uh, all right whatever what's their superpowers so they're psychic twins all twins are psychic but we're psychic girl what Snowflake, a cryokinetic, can materialize snowflake-shaped surikens projectiles for throwing. Okay, so I was right. She controls ice, um, ice powers and stuff. So what does her brother do? Safe space can materialize pink force fields, but he can't inhabit them himself. They reflex only works if he's protecting others. Excuse me, what? So you're telling me that it, let me let me go ahead and set up the scenario. If he gets shot at by like bad guys and whatnot, like you know how like bad guys will get their henchmen to shoot at the heroes and they go pew 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 pew. They shoot lasers or bullets or whatever. They shoot something at him, and he can't bring up a force field to protect himself, but he can only bring up a force field when he has to protect someone else. serious so his i i get the fact that he's supposed to be a hero and his powers is supposed to work for others but if that's the case if you're gonna use it to protect other people why not use it to protect yourself i mean this kid could wind up getting shot in the ass and then it's like well i can't bring up the force field because of the fact that it only works for somebody else what kind of horseshit power is that like what the this is the most i'm getting heated right now and i haven't even finished reading this this bull crap they're hyper aware of modern culture and optics, and they see their superheroics as a post ironic meditation of using violence to combat bullying. They're probably streaming this. You know, you know the Calypso twins off of Borderlands 3? This is basically them. This is the Marvel version of the Calypso twins. That's it. Uh, uh, moving on. And then we got probably the most emo hero I've ever seen and his name is are you ready for this one his name is B negative B negative who in the hell is coming up with these names he looks like Morbius's adopted child basically like he look he looks like Morbius's stepson at least because what the hell is that he looks like an anime villain like he looks like a Dio pretty much like went through a goth phase and then next thing you know this is what he comes out with i wouldn't even be surprised if they pretty much got the inspiration of dio from jojo's bizarre adventure and made this character oh let me guess he's a vampire right a teen living vampire see there you go i didn't even have to i didn't even have to try with this one exposed to michael morbius's blood as a child in a rope oh my god i was just generalizing i was just taking a guess you're telling me that that's how he got his power? Oh my god. I just took a guess. I just took a fucking guess. But no. The, he he basically is related to Morbius in some way. Like, not in blood. Like, well, yeah, in blood, but not blood relatives. But I just took a guess. And I was right on the money. How the hell? 
A teen living vampire exposed to Michael Morbus's blood as a child in a rogue but life-saving medical procedure. He still ages like a regular kid but has all the abilities of Morbius. He's also obsessed with all the music and attitude of a classic long past decades like the 90s and the 2000s. The world is a vampire and so am I. These cringy ass. These cringy ass quotes. These. I'm sorry. Are they supposed to be catchphrases? Cause I've I've been a comic book fan and a superhero fan all my life. These are the lamest catchphrases I've ever heard of in my entire day. I am 25 years old and I will literally speak for the generation that you're trying to to sell on Marvel. These are the lamest damn catchphrases I've ever heard of. These are the lamest names I've ever heard of. These are the lamest looking heroes. I've ever seen like I've seen many teenage superheroes that leave more of an impact on me the power pack and the runaways they leave more of an impact on me than what you're trying to push out right now I don't even know it, who this is for honestly I know this is for the teenage crowd but you would think that spider-man would be enough to get the teens to read the comics I mean who doesn't know who Spider-Man is? The same thing with Captain America. The same thing with Iron Man. The same thing with the Incredible Hulk. The goddamn Fantastic Four, for all I care. But, come on. Are you serious right now? And we haven't even gotten to the, the last superhero. So, we got the last superhero, which is probably the most saddest of all of them. That's saying a lot. And her name is Trailblazer trailblazer oh hell no does this character look like she's gonna blaze a trail yeah she'll look like she'll blaze a trail when she sees the nearest hot dog car she look like she'll blaze a trail when she'll pretty much see like the freaking lunch line is not even long but all all jokes aside why is her name trailblazer like is she super fast does she have augmented strength can she perform fire and whatnot i i gotta read this a regular kid scooped up into the world of teenage superhero ain't well that took all the expectation I had out of her I literally thought that she was at least a fire user at, at least a fire user I, I mean her name is trailblazer so why is her name trailblazer I wonder her magic backpack is actually a pocket dimension which seemingly infinite space from which she can pull out useful or random objects it's not always under her control. She claims to get her power from God, but not the God you're thinking of. Are you freaking serious? So, let me get this straight. This is just a normal, morbidly ob obese kid with Deadpool's magic satchel. Like, I don't know if you guys have read the Deadpool comics enough, but he has this thing called the magic satchel where he pulls whatever he needs out at a right time's notice. And basically, that's what they're saying that she has. So, why the freak are you calling her Trailblazer? You might as well just give her a better name, like Pockets. At least that name makes sense. Pockets. She she can pull things out of her bag, which is useful for the mission. Pockets. There you go. Why Trailblazer? Where did that come from? Who came up with this crap? Who came up with these characters? I mean... Is Marvel serious about this? Like, I, I'm literally, like, I'm literally genuinely confused. I don't even know what the hell to think about all this. I thought that this was a joke. I literally thought this was an April Fool's joke. I thought that this was something that Marvel thought would be funny. And they thought that, hey, here's an early April Fool's joke for you guys. <laughs> but no, this is serious. This is literally for real. This is what they're trying to push to the... To the young teen get demographics i guess and everybody else is saying that it's a sjw type of thing and i can see it i can see it now i can understand that they're trying to try something new with the kids of today but you might as well just go ahead and pretty much try to push the runaways at least that show pretty much has more understanding with be what being a teenager is all about you don't know your parents and your parents don't know you I, at least in this case it's a bunch of teenage kids dealing with super villain parents so at least that's something that's interesting but this this some of these characters look like something off of fortnite or apex legends or whatever the crap i don't even know how they think that this is going to pretty much 
I helped them with their business. I, I'm, I'm literally, I'm willing to bet you that this shit is is going to fail. I bet, I'm willing to bet you that it's not gonna sell one comic book in the comic book store. I haven't been to the comic book shop in a while. I know I need to because I need to jump back on my comic book collection and I need to start reading comic books again so I can pretty much like, you know, put something up for my, my reading channel at least. But this, this looks like it's going to be a comic book bomb. It, it, it's not gonna sell anything. Nobody's gonna read it. And if they are gonna read it, they're gonna read it for a laugh. This is just, this is just, my god. So, ladies and gentlemen, meet your new Marvel heroes, which are the the new warriors. Yay. I don't even, I, oh my god, I need coffee for this one. Marvel, what, what are y'all doing? What, what, what are y'all doing? Who's to blame for this one? Uh, did y'all literally just not give a shit anymore? Because if y'all don't give a shit anymore, I don't give a shit anymore. I, what the hell, dude? Like, what the, oh my god. God! Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and listen to me spaz out on this crap. I don't even know. I I don't even care anymore. If Marvel thinks they're going to make some money off of this one, cool beans, whatever. More power to them and whatnot. I just don't care anymore. Yeah, so you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and take my ass into the other room where I'm just going to watch Marvel's Avengers and try to get this shit out of my head. No, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and watch the classic 1990s Spider-Man and X-Men to get this shit out of my head. Because I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. I, I'm done. I, I, I am done. This, like, seriously, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Leave the comment down below. What do you think about these heroes? I, I, you don't even have to tell me this. I already know you guys hate these heroes. What is this? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I, I'm Crazy Ken. I'm out. I need some coffee. I need something. All right. All right. Later. Later. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come to the dark side. <laughs>